Good morning. Uh, I'd like to thank all of you for being here this morning. I know it's early. And to uh, Simeon, and I know he's not here, but uh, everyone with the forum for bringing, bringing about this discussion on something that I hold very near and dear to my heart. Uh, as a second generation in Greece, my grandparents came. Uh, my mother's side from outside Patra in, in Amadiada and my father's side from Corinth. So it's always fun to come home uh, to their homeland, like every other person in the diaspora. You know, my grandparents left with a hope and a dream of a better life in a new country. And here I am all these years later, uh, wanting to be the embodiment of that hope and, and the success of their dreams. So, from, from my point of view, I have an interesting perspective uh, coming from the political side of things in, in the United States, but I'm also very involved in the community. Uh, my father's a priest, so I, I grew up uh, with Greeks all around me all the time. And the older I got and the more educated I got, uh, you really see the difference of, of Greek Americans in the States. Uh, Greek Americans in New York and Boston in Chicago are a lot different than they are where I come from, which is down south in Alabama. And we have a lot of Greeks in Alabama, in Florida, in Mississippi. Uh, New Orleans, Louisiana is actually the first uh, parish in, in the United States. And it's been interesting to see how, in just my lifetime, how it's changed, uh, in especially the last few years. But regardless, everybody, no matter where you come from in the States, everybody's proud to be Greek. Everybody loves Greece. And, and, and every, all of our friends, all of our American friends, love the fact that we're Greek for some reason. So, you know, we come to, we come to Greece and, and want to spend our money and, and, and go to Monostiraki and buy t-shirts and kebabs and go to Mykonos and buy this and that. But it takes more than that. It takes more than the love for Greece to help Greece. And we have, in the diaspora, we have titans of industry in politics, in sports, in entertainment, in the media, and you know, lots of organizations too. Uh, the Hellenic Initiative, uh, HEPA, which has been there from the turn of the century, uh, helping immigrants as they came over, uh, the different councils and different Greek clubs around. And everybody wants to help Greece, but at some point uh, the Greeks need to accept the help too. It's, it can be very frustrating for those of us in the diaspora that want to come over and, and help and do what we can do, but there's a lot of red tape and a lot of bureaucracy and it makes it very difficult sometimes. So. Like you, I'm here to listen and to learn and to, and to give my thoughts and ideas. And uh, again, thank you.